Hey everybody, Fratum here, and tonight we're going to look at a game called Zero AD. This game is open source, totally free, cross-platform, very similar to some of the old games that are out there like Age of Empires and Age of Empires 2. And I don't know about you, but back in the day, this was my favorite type of game to play. I used to be hooked on StarCraft and, of course, Age of Empire games and just... So this brings back a lot of uh, warm and fuzzies for me when it comes to gaming. So I wanted to take a look at this game. They just released Alpha Release 21. And I've played it a little bit. I haven't played it a whole lot, so I'm not very good at it. I think it's actually a fairly hard game to play. So we'll, we'll give it a try and see how it goes from there. We'll go look at the menu. They've got a learn to play, which basically just covers the... Um, it's a manual, so... Doesn't seem to be a graphical tutorial that I could tell. Single player, multiplayer, tools and options is where you can set up. I've set my graphics to high. It defaulted to low for some reason, but I have a pretty decent gra graphics card, so I set it up to be high. You can also change the language. You can review a game that you played. Scenario editor. Supposedly you can create scenarios and then play those out. I haven't tried that yet. Welcome screen is just the beginning splash screen that tells you, hey, this is a alpha. And then mod selection. So this game is moddable. So I went to their website to check and there, there's people making mods for it. It looks like the mods might be JavaScript, but I'm not, I haven't checked too much into it to be sure. But um, I think that's pretty cool. So let's... Let's try playing a single player campaign. Right now you got matches, campaigns, and load game, but oh, we can't do a campaign. Campaigns aren't available yet. They're, that's something they're coming with in future releases of the game. And what it means is it'll be historical battles and you get to basically play them out. So we'll go ahead and do a match and we'll do it against the AI computer. You can select your name as player one, player two, we're going to do AI, and then you can select your civilization, we'll do the Greeks, and random for the computer, and if you have more than just the two players, you can set up teams, so that's kind of cool. You can choose the type of map, you can do skirmish or scenario. I don't really know the difference yet because I haven't played it enough. So we'll leave it on skirmish, that's the default. You can change the type of maps and you can select the actual map. So that's pretty cool. And there's a lot of maps in here. So based on the type of map, it's going to really change the gameplay. Two C's, that actually looks kind of fun. I bet you it's top and bottom. But we'll just go with something simple. Let's do mountains. Okay, so we'll go ahead and hit start game. Okay, so... Uh, AWSD moves your camera view. You can select your workers and we need to get them doing food but I don't see any so. oh wait there's food right there so you want to build up your resources let's see here soldiers Now the soldiers, the men characters, can fight and collect resources. So I've read in one of the guides that it's really good to get them built quick so that you have a defense. And they say to use them to mine minerals and woods. You know, it's probably better to be mining closer to the civic center, the center. And this guy here is, um, Calvary, I guess? 
He's an archer. Let's see if he can. No, he can't mine or anything. So we'll start building our houses. Now I have yet to win this game. The it's pretty hard. And I didn't see a difficulty level to set for the computer AI. But it seems like the computer AI just starts zerging you as soon as it possibly can. One thing I did learn is that you can build your houses up and use them almost like a fence to kind of protect your village. So I'm going to try to do that. This, in um, Age of Empires, this was... I've probably spent more hours in that game than any game I've ever played. I had a buddy that we used to play it all the time. So some of the options you have, uh, you can change the game speed. You can either slow it down or speed it up. I think speeding it up might not be a good idea at this point. You can do diplomacy and set up who your enemies are. Oh look, we have two teams working against us. That's not good. I thought I only selected one. We're, we're gonna so die in this game. Then you have trade, but I think you need a village uh, market to trade, but I'm not sure. And here's your objectives. Defeat all opponents to win. Diplomacy, allied victory, blah blah blah. So I want to build some sentry towers to try to keep us safe. And a fence. Well, we don't have enough resources to build it very far. So if you're familiar with these type of games, this this will come second nature to you. They're not it's not that complicated. So we definitely need more wood. So whenever it says you're being attacked by a Gaia, that's um nature. That means probably a bear or something attacked one of you guys. Let's see if we can make our fence a little bigger. The graphics are really good when you zoom in using the mouse scroll wheel. You can really see the detail with the smoke and the just all of it. I wish I could rotate my camera though. Maybe I, oh, there we go. E, E and W rotate your camera. That was kind of that made sense. So, my final thoughts on this game are, it's a pretty darn good game. Um, open source, free, I'll post the webpage down below where you can get this game. And you might, uh, on some of the distros it's in the repositories. I know on Arch Linux it was there, and it was the latest version. And Antergos, same with that one. So I highly recommend checking this out if you're into real-time strategies. And you know, it's kind of nice to see these indie open source games looking such high quality so many games out there are not very great quality when they're open source because they don't have the money and the, the talent to do the graphics right um, sometimes the gameplay is just amazing but everything else is just blah but this game has great sounds great graphics and the gameplay is is just a lot of fun it's your typical real-time strategy game rts Anyways, 
I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and I really appreciate it. Doing that really helps my channel, and I hope you have a wonderful night. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.